What's with you? Well, not now, but when I was six, a brick fell on my head. I was playing a game where you toss a brick in the air, counted five and ran, so the brick wouldn't bop you. Never was good at counting. They say the brick made me stupid. Burp, burp. Mm -hmm. If you need help getting somewhere, you come to the right place. See, I never get lost. Burp, burp, burp. Then this must be my lucky day. Tell me about the swamp. Uh, 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 the swamp's wide and deep, with mosquitoes up your arse. Oh, they've been stinging lately. Who lives here? Living here, we got druids, brick-makers, lumberjacks, monsters, and mosquitoes. That's who. Bah, bah, bah. Mm. Bah, bah, bah. What do you want to hear about? Seems like that brick did more than uh, messing with your brain. Looks like you got bald from it. <laughs> Tell me about those brick-makers, <laughs> which you're a part of, I think. Tell me about the... Brickmakers. Brickmakers is us. Bah, 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 just there. Straight on and there's the village. That's where you'll find the elders who you need to oblige. We make bricks. Bah, bah, bah. Anything else you likes to know? Where are those lumberjacks at? Which we already met. Where are the lumberjacks? Bah, bah, bah. Lumberjacks sticks to where they logs. Where else would they sticks? So where exactly do they log? Should have said that from the start. Bah, bah, bah. South of the Brickamaker's village. Best follow that path past the Orid Cave till you see stumps. How about those monsters? How about monsters? Bah, bah, bah. We got monsters of many. Will o' wisps and mammons that keep a decent Brickamaker from getting home when he's a bit tipsy. We got wind wraiths and brownies with their little red caps. Anything else? Else we got mosquitoes. Bah, bah, bah. Did I hear you mention mosquitoes? <laughs> like three or four times. Did I hear you mention mosquitoes? Damn buzzing bloodsuckers! There's more of a year. You'll find that most by the tower. The tower? Yeah. If you go straight west and then south by the hut, you're sure to reach the Meiji's Tower. Ba, ba, ba. But shut. And there's nothing but blasted mosquitoes and some geelongs there. Ba, ba, ba. So where do I find those druids at? Where will I find the druids? Ah, that's the furthest nook in the forest. With beautiful trees and wild beasts sitting with druids. That'll be straight southwest, but you need to pass the loggers or take another path. Hard to say what. Alright, farewell. Farewell. Let's see, any other... Specialty brickmakers around here. The lords are showing their dissatisfaction. Basker left grain on the altar and found a knife there the next morning. Bad omen. Yes. Signifies wrath. Those strays from the dry lands are the cause. The lord's wrath will reach the intruders. Pray we are spared. Left some grain down and it turned into a knife, huh? Interesting. Nothing to do. Kind of makes me wonder if there's uh, someone that's trying to scare the brick makers out of town. In all honesty. Didn't we ever come and get this stuff? I swear we did. You know, I know exactly what happened. We uh, we went out there and that, uh, that uh, horrible, horrible uh, thing that uh, the cannibal led us to ended up killing us. So I definitely did get this stuff at some point. It just uh, didn't work out very well for me in the end. That's what happened. Another life it were. I wonder if Vasca has anything else for us to do. Okay. Looks like we have a prayer meeting going on here. What's up, Vasca? The Water Lords and I! Really? Let's discuss a job, shall we? Let's discuss a job. Please help. One of our children is missing. The boy has always returned quickly until now. Perhaps the Water Beast ate him. Blasphemy. The Druids must have him to transform into a Dryad. All right, well, I'll look for the boy. All right, I'll look for the boy. It has been foretold. Blessed water shall pour down and the world consumed into the deep. 
All right, then. I very much doubt that the druids have uh, have taken the boy. That seems that seems like it's uh, an impossibility, honestly. Um, you know what? Just because I'm feeling brave with my dosh. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's play some poker. Sounds like a good time to me. What do we got here? Oh, it's an okay hand. Three threes. I like it. And of course, she's got a full hand immediately. That is some BS right there. <laughs> She's got three threes and two twos, and all I've got is three threes. What the hell? Vasca is a cheat, I swear. She must be, like, rubbing the dice on one side or something so that it, uh, it lands a certain way. Freaking ridiculous. Well, I'm losing this hand. She doesn't even have to roll. All right, all right. Frickin' Vasca here. I'm never gonna beat Vasca, I think, at this rate. She's just that good. Well, I've got uh, a pair of ones and she's got nothing. That's not a particularly good hand. Literally any pair can beat this. It's a terrible hand. Um, in fact... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep the six and just roll everything, because if I can get one more six, then that's already a better hand. Okay, I got one more six. I'm okay-ish with this hand, but uh, I have a feeling I'm going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vasca's a cheat. <laughs> Vasca is a total cheat. That is some BS right there. Gosh. When will I ever win against Vasca? Alright, let's see here. What do we got? We've got the cave that we visited when we were leaving. Obelisk. Campfire. That's the uh, the lumberjacks down there. Um, do I just want to head over to the Druid's Grove and figure things out? We still need to do something with the... Uh, the golems, as well as somewhere up here, there were um, there were some Scoyatel, I believe. Gramps' hut has been cleaned out, so we killed him. <laughs> Screw that guy! All right, I'm gonna go to the druids. I think, I think that's uh, I think that's the best thing to do at this point. Pick up stuff along the way. Maybe kill a few monsters. Seems like a good plan to me. Ah, some Feanawid. Now, I wonder if there is a particular reason why there's Feanawid right here. Just the fact that there's so many drowners around or something? I am using the wrong sword right now. Like, why are these guys not going down very well? Better. I guess, uh, I guess the fact that there's just a whole bunch of monsters that come out around here is supposed to be the reason why there's Feanawed here. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other reasoning behind it. Really, Geralt? <laughs> I just want to go after the Drowner. Now we've got this Bludsger on us, too. Can you run, Geralt? would be fantastic if you could do that. Let's see here. I think I, uh... I think I got the ability to hit from afar. I just don't know that I can manage it. Alright, this is, uh... This is getting ridiculous now. <laughs> They're just all coming out of the woodwork. I don't want the, uh, blue Zagur to explode on me, so we'll back off for a second here. Oh. 
better. Okay. Let's see if I can hit this guy from afar. Really? That's that's what you're gonna do, Geralt? Come on. What the hell is that? It's like fizzling out or something. Maybe I just didn't have enough uh, mana to do anything. There we go. That's a way to do it. <laughs> kind of a ridiculous way to do it, because it took so long to actually get it to work. I guess it just needs uh, a lot of, uh, what is it, endurance? Endurance, yeah. Where did all... Okay, here. So I was like, where did all the remains go? I swear I took down a number of creatures. For some reason, that, like, double-switched me and then put me right back to uh, where I didn't want to be. Alright. Got some more remains out here that we didn't get to pick up because things came for us. And we also got this Feyenoid. Where is the remains? Oh, it's like right on the Feyenoid. Coming out of the woodwork here. I'm not even close to where this drowned dead came out. But I'll take it while I'm here. Getting all of their goodies is uh, is definitely good for my pouch. Got one drowned dead coming out here. Full drowners over there. All right, you're gonna follow me forever, so guess I'll take care of you. Okay, <laughs> he died of fright looking at me. That's that's what just happened, right? I think. <laughs> Not to go straight through the uh, Bludziger Grove over here. I want to see how much this actually does as far as damage goes. Mm, not very much. Kind of disappointing. I was really hoping it would do a lot more than that. You know, I suppose it is worthwhile killing these guys, because they do drop very expensive items. Even if they are a pain in the ass. Run! Alright, I think I actually got away from him in that. Great. I wonder how much damage would actually be done to me if I was to kill a whole bunch of these guys all at the same time. Because there's a lot of them around here. I also don't know that uh, using group style is going to be capable of taking these guys down. Nor do I know when I last saved, so this will be interesting. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Let's get in there. Run! Oof. 
Took like half my health there for three of them. It wasn't too bad though. I thought it would be a lot worse. Run! Ouch. <laughs> It is definitely a strange dance to uh, to get away from them when they're exploding. Nice. I think we got uh, I think we got a decent amount of expensive stuff from these guys. I'm happy with how it went. It wasn't too bad. Sure, we lost a lot of health, but uh, it's not like we're dead. Probably should save, you know, saying it's not like we're dead. Game crashes five seconds later. <laughs> There's an order scout over here? What, what do we got going here? A basket, hellebore. Interesting. Oh, Siegfried's out here. Interesting indeed. Eternal fire fill my heart. Really? We'll rout those non-humans. Okay. I wonder if talking to Siegfried here is going to uh, cause some issues. Oh! Geralt? By the eternal fire, it's good to see you. What are you saying, ow? What, what happened? What happened? An Echinops thorn pains me under my grieve. I fear I cannot walk. We were seeking the Golem burial ground. Some fool, may the eternal fire illuminate the darkness of his mind, was ranting on about mosquitoes and golems when the cursed plant shot me with its thorn. Ouch! You should get someone to dress that wound. No time for trivial matters. Elves and hawkers are dealing at the burial ground. My duty was to eliminate the hawkers and the Skyatel, chopping off all the Hydra's heads in one fell swoop. Guess the Hydra got a reprieve. It was a direct order from the Grand Master. Help me. I'll appoint you commander of my unit. I'm a witcher, not a soldier. I believe in you, Geralt. Nothing occurs without cause. The Eternal Fire has given you both honor and responsibility. Don't get excited, Siegfried. We truly need your assistance. Wait here. I'll look around. Wait here. I'll look around. So... In this game, you have three options, really. And uh, the third option is kind of difficult to actually do. Um, but the three option is basically side with the Order here, side with the Skoyatel, or side with no one. Um, that, that third option of siding with no one is uh, is actually pretty difficult. There's there's a lot of sections in this game, uh, if, you're, if you're playing along, that uh, you just don't really get much of a choice. You you have to side with someone. Um, there sure is a lot of Fey Inuit around here. A lot of, uh, a lot of blood spilled 